This is Sheila Finkelstein of Technology for Seniors Made Easy. I'm signed into PicMonkey, PicMonkey.com, to show how to put a transparent layer in a photo in editing it. So you can put a title and still see the background. Going into PicMonkey, I go right up top here, no registration needed, edit for free. I'm going to open. I can use one of their photos. I'm getting an image from my computer. Okay, I'm in my computer. I'm selecting an image. And there we go. So that's a backlit iris. I want to first add a rectangle on the bottom so I can get an image in so I can write and we can see what's on top. So I'm going to this butterfly image, which is overlays. And PicMonkey has all kinds of different things you can add, but going to geometric, choosing the rectangle. And the rectangle allows me to choose a color. And I think I'll look for lavender that will go with my photo and now pulling that down to the bottom dragging it out fully actually I want to extend it so it's covering the whole there we go now I also have the option of fading changing the opacity so that you can see the background, some of the background of the photo in it. You'll see here. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Closing. That overlays at the bottom. Now I'm choosing text. Add text. And I'm going to choose Georgia, are there other fancy texts you get used to, whichever one you want. I'm assuming that's, I'm actually going to bring that down over the layer I just did. I can bold it, italicize it. I'm not so sure Georgia picked up. Doesn't look like a Georgia script. But anyway, quickly here, I'm typing in what lights no, that's not what I where in life where in life is your Okay, so we want to drag this, use the box and take the corners out. You can extend it up and down with the round corners or just extend out here. Back to typing. Where in life is your light the strongest? This little thing here has me, move. I can move the whole text box or I have it centered I could also be centering in this space now I want to bold that also so I hit bold I now have to extend this out some more can change this the size in a couple of ways it can change the size this way can also change the size by just moving the box, changing how the box looks. So change the size that way. And one more thing I wanted to show because there is a blend mode here. And if I darken it, it's going to make this a little bit darker for standing out. And that's it. So presumably you can see that clearly. I could narrow the box if I want, and now to save it. I'll click up the top and save. 
when you go to save, there's you'll see the size here. The middle size is 46.5 kilobytes. If I wanted it really low, it would be a smaller 35. I wanted higher quality, so I'm clicking on Sean, and that's making that 187.9 kilobytes. May take a little longer to uh, upload, depending on how fast the computer is. You get to experiment with that. And save to my computer. And I'm going to save it to my desktop for now. There we go. So that's how you can get a transparent box rectangle in the bottom as a friend uses in PowerPoint and do typing so that you can see the text more clearly and also see some of the background. So thank you for watching. Sheila Finkelstein, Technology for Seniors Made Easy.